and as the tomato plants grow the leaves grow down and they start to touch the dirt and you don't want that so I'll trim these back So here's all the leaves I removed and what I do is try to keep 6 to 12 inches away from the soil helps prevent blight and this tomato plant is showing the first signs of blight it's got these little brown spots on the leaves so I'm gonna try some of this stuff called actinovate it's a natural microbe that's supposed to help eliminate stuff like blight it says to mix one teaspoon per gallon of water and wet the soil about once every month since I've never used this stuff before, I'm only going to use it on half of the tomato plants. Make sure that nothing bad happens. I'm kind of afraid it might kill like good stuff in the soil. So it's better safe than sorry. So I only do half of the tomatoes. In about two weeks, I'll start using this More Bloom 01010 on the tomatoes and peppers. But for now, I just use this. Every seven days, I feed with this 511 fish emulsion fertilizer. One tablespoon per gallon. This tub is about 15 gallons, so I use 15 tablespoons. There's one of those cabbage moths. I noticed some people make moth decoys. There's even ones you can buy from the store. So I'm gonna try this out. I sketched a moth on a piece of paper and then I traced around it on this piece of plastic. I take a piece of sandpaper and rough up the plastic a little bit. It helps the ink stick better. So 
So I put one in the center of each bed of the kale and collards. The science behind this is these things are supposed to be territorial. If they see another moth, they won't land in the same spot. The kale seeds are ready to harvest. Kale seeds start out as little flowers and then they get pollinated and turn into these little green pods and then they start to mature and grow little seeds inside and they slowly turn yellow and then brown and dry out and that's when you know the seeds are ready. So you can kind of split the pod in half. And there's about a dozen seeds in each pod. Hello everybody. Today is May 29th and it is raining been raining like crazy for the past week. Figure I'd do a quick little garden update. The super sugar snap peas are starting to develop. And then I've got the basil moved up here from the greenhouse. The beets. and lettuce and here's a look at the main garden it's been raining so much tomatoes are growing I'm kind of worried that it's been so wet and humid that it might develop blight but so far the tomatoes are looking good and the corn has really taken off grown really tall. Here's the more peppers and tomatoes, Mountain Magic tomatoes. And so far with these tomatoes, they're doing really healthy. No sign of disease yet. And then we've got the pole beans, Blue Lake pole beans right there, starting to climb up the trellis. Kale, or actually those are collards and kale, more peppers and the ground cherry. It looks like this is going to just totally take over this bed, starting to crowd out the pepper plants. And the ground cherry starting to develop little fruits. And then here's cucumbers. And then here's more collards and kale. And these are the rattlesnake pole beans starting to climb up the strings. And here's the zucchini cage. And with this zucchini plant, I buried half a Dixie cup around it. So I just cut a Dixie cup in half and kind of buried it into the soil. And what it's supposed to do is if a vine borer larva, it's like a little worm, hatches on the leaves and then it drops in the soil and they crawl to the vine. And it's supposed to block them from getting access and I've still got the extra plants. I've got this one Mountain Magic tomato plant and it's setting fruit. 
There's a bunch of little tomatoes, and it's still in this tiny little pot. Here's the front hex bed. Cupid grape tomato. Here's another one of those ground cherries. And here's in front of the garage. Got the plum regal tomato plant. The eggplant. Starting to develop tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 